What's up everyone? It's your boy Osito and his adventures and today we're back with the what? With the Heavy Banger. If it's your first time here, I want to introduce myself. My name is Isaac, better known as Osito and his adventures. And in this video we drop auto detailing videos, tips and tricks, how to run your detailing business and many more. So if you like content like that, make sure you hit the bell notification but first you gotta subscribe. And if we are really familiar to this channel, I want to say welcome back to my channel, guys. Today, we are back in location in this beautiful location. <laughs> location twice. Uh, knocking out some more details, guys. More details. It's already hot. It's, it's a hot day out here. As you can see, we're knocking out some details today. We are out here in Woodside, California. This is a repeat customer. Last week, last Sunday, we were out here. We detailed three vehicles for them. And today we're do, detailing another three vehicles. So that for you guys is six vehicles off one referral. Have you guys ever had that much vehicles? How much vehicles have you done off one referral? But with that being said, guys, I'm super excited because we got the generator running. We're setting up shop. We're setting up one station right here, and we're going to be setting up one more station right here. This is going to be for our mats or whatever, and right there is going to be for easy reach equipment that we might need. As you guys can see, we're going to be servicing this beautiful, beautiful Range Rover that just needs some love. So we're going to be performing a full interior detail on this one, move on to the outside, and finish it off with the three-month three sealing wax. Let me take you guys in for you guys to get a better view of how it looks. As you guys can see, the seats are pretty stained up. It's a nice, like, fabric, though. It's, I think it's called, um, I forgot the name, but I have it on the tip of my tongue. But I know you guys will know or say it in the comment section. So... We're gonna start setting up for we won't take up much longer because we do gotta do this one, like I said, one more, and possibly one of those um horse trailers over there if you can see one. But as you guys can see, guys, <clears throat> we have the generator champion 45 watt. So far, so good, man. I'm loving it. She's pretty loud, you know, she's screaming. She's screaming, but she's not like, sorry. She's screaming, guys, but she's not like the Yorona screaming, like, oh, you know, how crazy. So she's pretty loud, but not too loud. So Junior, the detailer, it's gonna be a hot day today, huh? I think it's gonna Ooh. be like 92, 95. Guys, last night it was baking hot. Ooh, you know, we man. had a customer tell us, hey, um, that was a thing, nice customer. That was a nice customer. He was like, he, was reach, he reached out and he was like, hey, Tomorrow's gonna be super hot. I was wondering if you guys wanna reschedule, reschedule. or redo or do it for there later that night. Yeah. We were like, you know what? I think we might take that job for Monday instead. Yeah, it was way too hot, guys. It was guys. super hot, guys. So hey, today we're gonna do this detail. You know, luckily, look if you see up, we yeah. got some nice trees covering up. We're actually kind of lucky right now, cause so, yeah, we got we're lucky right now that we got these trees, and right now I'm gonna just. I'm just getting this stuff ready, guys. Putting on my gloves, and, um, and I'm gonna set up a timer for right now. Yeah, we're gonna set this vehicle up to three hours, give or take. Hopefully, we do it before three hours. So, so we'll right quick. now, look, I'm gonna set up the timer. Uh, usually, find the timer first. We're gonna get the um, we're gonna put three hours on this one right here, right? Three yeah, hours. Three hours on the dot. On the dot. All right, Starting cool. now, guys. So it's so. go time. I'm going to connect my steamer because we're going to need it. And I'll catch you guys back here shortly. Yeah. As you guys can see, guys, we're knocking out this interior detail. And so far, guys, I feel like it's speeding up our process as we got three machines running right now. And we're just used to one machine running at a time. So that's pretty cool if you were to ask me. How you feel about that? Oh, sorry. What were we going to say? Saving a lot of time. Saving a lot of time, huh? That we are saving a lot of time. Just barely started and we're already deep in from process and that's what we want. Right, right now, I'm doing this interior detail as, with... um. 
with the air compressor we're sharing the air compressor meanwhile we got the steamer ready to go and my brother's doing the vacuuming so, so the right vacuum. now i would say it's you know it's a straight um force you know we're just attacking it all right guys we had to restart the timer just because i thought i pressed start guys and i didn't so that's what happened yes sir really but either it. way i would say we've probably been here for 15 20 minutes and we're pushing pretty fast <laughs> Right here with the famous Otito. We're still working on the first vehicle. As you get to see, we are pushing a little bit faster now. Yes, sir. So you, you know what? Honestly, I think we're pushing pretty good. You know, we're just doing the final details that's you know needed inside this. We took care of the seats, the main stains, everything's nice and protected already. So we're just taking care of the main little last details but we're moving along pretty good and so this was a, a full detail right yes yeah, so this is a full detail no shampooing so we're gonna once we're done with this we're gonna move on to the outside and seal it so up you got two more full details correct after this yes after yes this and then um we are timing them at three hours each full detail mm -hmm. yes and, and i know you guys are wondering um why are we timing every detail right now at this point it's because um i don't want to go too much into detail but about a month ago, we were we did have two appointments where we kind of slipped up, and one of the clients was not too pleased about that. Ended up canceling our appointment and stuff. You know, you can't please a mom, but. About a little bit right here, so you can see a little bit more of your angle. There we go. So you can't please a mom, you know, but you could definitely try. So right now, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get into program that a full detail typically takes us three to four hours tops depending and depending on the vehicle and conditions but that's what we are trying to do guys is trying to have a program down for this but as you guys can see i'm gonna show you guys the timer. we've been here for three hours we only got an hour and seven usually that's the time that it takes us to uh do the cleaning on the outside uh make sure that we're removing every bug yes, sir. We're cleaning everything so yeah guys i'm gonna let you guys go and um i'm excited to to show you guys this after we're done like i said three hours it tops each full detail so we got three vehicles to do so we, we're gonna be here all day guys yes sir this is gonna be brought some lunch yeah so i think you know, we're probably gonna do this truck we're gonna move on finish to the it next off one. And then after that, we're done with that one. Take a little lunch break, and then Possibly. we'll be back at it. I'm feeling a little bit hungry, man, so I might get my lunch out after this one. Hey, however you feel, whatever makes you feel with this heat weather, we got to stay, you know, ready. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to start the wash process now. <clears throat> we're going to be using our, our Turtle Wax Max Power, like usual, for our first foam. Then we're going to follow up with uh, Dirt Buster by uh, Superior Products. All right, guys, as you guys can see, the inside is nice and clean. We steam clean the seats. We steam clean the carpet. Steam cleaned all the plastic materials shined and protected lay down a little bit of bead maker on this piano black definitely looks a lot nicer when you do that now we got to start off in the outside because you guys can see she is dirty she is all done and clean so osito you were able to get this client from another client yes we were, we were we got referred by this uh, other client that we did a while back we did actually did a video we ended up um servicing his dodge trx i believe it was I beautiful remember. truck beautiful truck so he ended up referring us to this client right here which booked six vehicles and i know you're asking yourself osito how do you get a client to book six vehicles and honestly you just pull up and you show out guys have that great attitude the great um you know be positive you know um crack jokes be yourself don't don't try to be somebody that you're not that's what i would say guys always be yourself even when the, even when you're nervous interacting with the client and you know i would say that uh 
build that trust, build that relationship with the customers because they're going to like that at the end of the day. Yeah, they definitely enjoy it, you know, especially when they know that your attentions appear and you're just there trying to get stuff done. You know, they give you the trust. And always let them know that you're there for them any way you can, you know, and I, I truly mean it. I truly mean it when I tell my customers anything that comes along, if we can help, give us a call. So guys, I'm going to go check the timer real quick. Meanwhile, he's foaming it up. You're about to start reaching the top, right? Yes, I am. Actually, let me do this. So what quick. we like to do, we, we like to foam the vehicle and then pull up with the long reach, reach the tops where it's harder to reach. Once we get that, we start moving in with the contact wash. So guys, we're looking at 48 and two seconds. As you guys can see earlier, we put the timer for three hours. So far, so good, right? Yes, sir. We're doing good. Crushing it. All right, guys. So I'm going to let you guys go go just because I need to start from, um, doing some more action going on. All right, guys. We are done with this beautiful Range Rover. As you guys can see, she is looking gorgeous. She is now nice and protected. And cleaned off. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be moving this one towards that way and we're going to bring that Audi if you can see it. Alright guys, it's time for us to exchange vehicles. So we're going to park this one over there and bring the Audi here. Beautiful, beautiful car, guys. Ooh, AC running. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Go, go, go. All right, guys. We're gonna take a quick break before we get started on this one. What did we bring today? My brother ended up bringing, um, he ended up getting one of the Subway's sandwiches from Safeway. So we're gonna munch on that, something fresh for a hot day with some cold water, refreshing up real quick, then we'll be back at it. Cito, Cito, yes, sir. how is the time looking on you right now? You know what guys, um, being honest, uh, we've been here for quite some while. I would say we've been here for close to eight hours. We did the full, you yeah, have seen the Range Rover, we knocked out the Range Rover. And then uh, we knocked out this Lexus. We did the headlight restoration on this one. Uh, you know, there was a lot of um, activity going on. Horses passing by and everything. So, you know, uh, at those times we got held back a little bit, but not too bad, we're doing pretty good. We're about done with this one. And then we're gonna knock out the last mini detail. So you arrive, if I'm miscorrecting, you arrive here at Nine o'clock or is it ten? No, we got here like around nine twenty. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. So we started setting up. We started setting up. Um, by the time we started getting started, it was probably like seven twenty. I mean, what the heck? Nine forty, guys. Nine forty. And so right now, I'm just gonna show you guys is the time. It's looking at six eleven. So we've been here grinding, guys. But hey, we ain't giving now, guys. And I'll tell you guys is man. Customers are super happy with the hey, results. As long as they don't kick us out, we're staying here. <laughs> I feel you on that one for sure. Just giving you guys just a little, a little glimpse of the of the paint. How is everything looking?
So let me go back over here with Osito. Osito, boy, how you loving your generator? Man, I, honestly, game changer for sure, guys. Game changer for sure. Oh, and one thing I want to mention. If anybody's in the market for a generator, these are on sale on Amazon. You want to go pick one up. I think original price goes for a thousand... A thousand and fifty. A thousand and fifty, but I love them. And I, I, I got that fifty percent off, guys. I honestly think it's a it's a, it's a steal. You guys gotta go get it, just because, man. The performing works really good. Uh, we were running two, right? Two things at once. Yes, we were running two things at once, and it still shows that can handle another item, but we just took advantage of the power that we have on location, and powered up our third item on there and so guys look um i salute my little bro right here because uh for sure he getting down look he just did the whole waxing on this vehicle with these nice towels right here so you got those from yeah these are from the rack company nice and plush i think they're um 350 gsm guys 350 gsm but hey they work really fine and the customers what matters is when the customers come and they see the shine it pops it glosses that's what they want and that's what we're here for yes so sir. With, all, with all that being said i'm gonna let you guys go and i'll see you guys later all right guys as you guys can see we are all done with the inside the outside the vehicle's all nice and complete Clients were super pleased with the results. But I did get one complaint, guys. I did get one complaint. And I want to ask you guys. Right here. I always deep clean my door jams on this areas down here. But I'll be honest. Sometimes I kind of skip this area or don't give it a nice deep cleaning. So I want to know, guys, do you guys deep clean these areas right here? I'm sure you do. And if you do, what is your method? Mainly right here, guys. You see, I see that. Other than that, they were pleased with the results. I ended up using the kit for the headlights, which I'm not pleased with. So I told them, don't even pay me for the headlights today, guys. Because I'm not pleased with the results. So if I'm not pleased, probably you are not either. So guys, if you know of any good products out there that I could use to take care of the headlights, please let me know in the comment section. That's one thing that we definitely need to start pumping out. So all we're doing right now is just wrapping things up, guys. We're getting everything set back up. It's a lot easier, though. It's a lot easier because things have their, sp their spot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So basically, um, I would say this month, every Sunday is being dedicated to this client as he is trying to bring these vehicles up to the standards that the other ones are so they can be fully enrolled into our maintenance plan. So, we, you know, uh, we got um, two more vehicles that we got to do and then two trailers, you know, two uh, horse trailers, guys. So we're going to make sure that we detail them, uh, you know, seal them up. Have them nice and protected for them. So yeah, man. Now we're just enjoying this little drive back home. Nice, nice. And so damn, dude, all this month you've been grinding, grinding, right? Yeah, you know, I want to say I'm blessed and thankful, man, that um, right now my 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 booking, my calendar is pretty booked out, you know. It's booked out up to next week. So um, I'm blessed, you know, and we've been like that for the past week and a half which is why i was slacking a little bit on on, on on the videos yes i needed to catch up on my bookings and um you know i wanted to pump out well i wanted to record more today guys but 
you know what I, I also gotta respect the privacy of my clients and stuff like that so um if i do slack off it would be for those type of reasons you know it's because um i just been b busy you know knocking out these details plus my nine to five and then um you know just some, at times i can't record and stuff but and just man. like the other day you told me you're like hey we need to step it up on videos yes I'm like yeah i feel i feel the same way too <clears throat> but at the same time we got to make sure that we're on the on point getting these details done you know making sure that the customers are happy that's i feel like that's most important yes that's most important for us videos will come along of course they're gonna come along my bro keeps on pushing videos out here like that. you know it's one yeah. thing that you know um i want to keep my clients pleased but i also you know i enjoy doing this for you guys i enjoy pumping out this co uh, content and i enjoy you know interacting with you guys so I make sure to do it, you know, even though sometimes we are a little caught up, busy, or you also got to give time to the family, you know, so, um, so yeah, man. Cosito, I got the last question for you. Yes, sir. What did you enjoy with your new generator doing? Oh, man, the, the, you know, I, the peace of mind knowing that I can run more than one machine at a time, you know, um, we were attacking, I believe, you, you, you know, the detailer, you were attacking the carpet today with, uh, with the vacuum and the vortex at All the right. same time. So, you know, um, you would spray up a little area with the vortex and then, you know, vacuum it up. And in my case, I was running with the steamer. with the vortex and the steamer at the same time, which was very beneficial and very helpful, you know. And I, I feel like um, we ha actually haven't detailed like this in a while, you know. Ever since we had an issue at some location, you know, with the breaker, I, it kind of had me scared a little bit. So you know. So guys, we were not running a steamer and the vacuum at the same time. Same time. So just picture this. You know, you're there first vacuum, then you let the steamer warm up, and then you let the air compressor warm up. All of or, that or, at one time. You know, just taking your time doing that. I mean, we were consuming a lot of time. Right now, we had three things running at one time. So man, that was so useful. You know, I could just only imagine how how fast. And our pro and the process is gonna be getting as that as we're going. And I'm just gonna show you guys this, this nice view out here where we at right now. It's like an old school town, guys. Check out this location right here. We're gonna pull up into it. It's an old building. But now we're actually getting it more organized. My brother, he mastered the way we want to have his van. Of course, it still needs a lot more work, but he's looking better than great. And it's super everything. cool, man. It's super cool because um, we have uh, we have the the extension cord rail at home, and we also have the air hose for the compressor at home already. They're already at home, so I'll show you guys later. And then when I do install them, I might let you guys know that we ask you give me some tips, you know, and let me know how you would set it up. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit us with a thumbs up and hit the like button. And remember, if you're not subscribed, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss another video like this. It was definitely fun, and I enjoy bringing you on the journey. So with that being said, guys, remember, every day is a blessing and every struggle is a lesson. So don't be stressing. Yee!